Hello guys, welcome to my channel guys. Today I am going to explain about uh, what are the data science techniques and uh, we are having lot of techniques. Today just uh, we will discuss in brief about what are the techniques that which we are going to use in the data science. So data science professionals usually use the computing systems uh, to follow the data science process. So we are having few techniques are there which can be followed by all the data uh, scientists here what are those means among those the first one is the classification guys so classification what is meant by classification here what that is one of the important questions that will be rising here so this is one of the technique where we are trying to sort out into some specific groups here so classification is based upon the sorting of the data into the specific groups or the categories here so like uh, suppose if i am having uh, if uh, a person is having uh, covid or not suppose so I want to categorize into COVID persons and as well as the non-COVID persons. So I can easily categorize here based upon the symptoms. I want to classify into the COVID guys and the non-COVID persons here. So that is called as the sorting here. So known data sets are used to build the decision algorithms in a computer which will quickly processes and characterizes the data. So for example, sort the products as popular or not popular. Sort the products as the popular or the not popular i want to categorize the whether the products are popular or not popular this is also comes under the classification so let us take the another example like how to sort the insurance applications as the high risk or the low risk categories here and how we are going to categorize the social media comments into some positive comments negative comments or the neutral comments here many types of comments we will get but i want to categorize it the multiple things here so these data science professionals they use the computing systems to follow all this data science process so classification is one of a very good technique here where we will apply here next one is the regression what is meant by regression regression it is the method of finding a relationship between the two seemingly unrelated data points unrelated data points means we are having the two different types of variables are there one is dependent variable and one is the independent variable so i want to find out what is the type of relation that which we are having with the dependent on the independent variables here so the connection is usually modeled using a mathematical formula here where i can represent in the form of graphs or in the form of curves here so when the value of the one data point is known the regression is used to predict the other data points here if i know one data point i can easily predict the other data points so usually we can show with the help of a regression line with the for only for the continuous values here so that is we can show with the help of the y is equal to mx plus c graph mx plus c uh, equation with the help of this equation we will try to plot the graph here and the rate of spread of airborne diseases how the rate of spread of the airborne diseases will be whether it is a increasing or whether it is decreasing here and uh, what is the relationship between the customer satisfaction and the number of employees right uh, here i can take the customer satisfaction and here i can take the number of employees here so i can see whether i am going to get the uh, increasing result or the decreasing result and the relationship between the number of fire stations and the number of injuries due to the fire in a particular location so everything we can analyze and we can show with the help of this regression line here and the next one is the clustering clustering is a method of grouping all the related and closely related data together to look for the patterns and the anomalies to look for the patterns and the anomalies we are going to use the clustering here and clustering is different from uh, sorting because the data cannot be accurately classified into the fixed categories here clustering is different from sorting here where clustering is different from sorting here because uh, uh, sorting is different i am going based upon the given data we are trying to make the sorting into the ascending order or the descending order it is not the case here we will try to group all the similar items into one category here that is called as the clustering here the data is grouped into most likely relationships here new patterns relationships are discovered with the help of the clustering here for example suppose if you want to group the customers with the similar purchase behaviors for improving the customer services, I want to find out or I want to categorize those who are going to purchase uh, uh, the purchasing habits are similar. I am going to categorize into some into one group. Suppose if 10 people are there who are purchasing the milk and bread regularly. So what I will do, I will make it into one group here. 
and group the network traffic to identify the daily usage patterns and identify the network attack in a faster manner. And cluster articles into the multiple different news categories and use this information to find the fake news content here. So I want to find out the, the articles into the multiple different news categories and use this information. With the help of this information, I can find out uh, any fake news content is uh, there or not. Right? If one is uh, <clears throat> not there in any of the group, obviously it, it will be considered as a fake content. It should be there in any one of the group here. It should be in this group or this group or this group. Right? So this is called as the clustering. If it is not present anywhere means we can consider this one as a fraud. So, what are the different data science technologies we are going to use it like? We are going to use complex technologies like artificial intelligence, cloud computing. We are going to use the IoT and quantum computing also we are going to use it. Guys. So, AI it will help a lot and the machine learning models and the related softwares are used to predict and prescriptive analysis here. And cloud computing, cloud computing technologies has given the data scientists the flexibility and processing power are required for the advanced data analytics. So if we go for the cloud technologies had given the data scientists the flexibility and processing power required for the advanced data analytics. Here cloud also it will play one important and a major role for storing the data and for doing the analysis of your data. IOT. So, what is the role of the IOT here? IOT, it will connect the data from the, we are going to collect the data from the multiple devices like your sensors and many devices are there to collect your data so that we can analyze the data with the help of the IOT internet and as well as from the multiple devices also. Next one, quantum computing. Quantum computers it will helps us to perform the complex calculations uh, at a high speed so if you are going to do lot of complex calculations in the high speed that is called as quantum computing here and the skilled data professionals use them for building the complex quantitative algorithms here so that's all for today's guys so i hope you like this video guys